So during Apple's not really a keynote, but pretty major website refresh, Apple announced Apple Clips. Clips? Apple, not slices. You could have done a little pun there. Whatever. I always thought it was weird as soon as I saw it. I was like, Apple, really? You've tried so many times to do social networking and it really has gone nowhere. Yeah, I've been making fun of them for that. That, you know, social networks can't really be predicted or anticipated. They just kind of happen. But I think Apple realized that and I've been playing with Apple Clips this morning. They're trying to help you publish to social media, not create their own site for social media. Kind of a difference there. And I'll have to admit, there's a couple features I didn't know existed, and they're kind of cool. So, now right here, I got my iPad rigged up to screen record, and I can show you some of its coolest features. There's probably some I can't cover in this one, but still, it's worth checking out. So, of course, similar to any other video recording app or photo, you just hold that record button, and it starts recording video. Seems pretty basic so far, doesn't it? And then you can stop, and as you're walking through it, it'll start to tell you what things you can do differently that are unique to Apple Clips. So, it'll say, now try adding animated text using your voice. Tap that little icon. It gives you all these different options of how you can add text on top of the video, not with a keyboard, but just by talking. So why don't I show you a cool example of that? This one in the corner looks cool. So now when I start to hold to record, it's going to start dictating my voice into text and we'll go like this. I am now talking and hopefully the iPad will be able to dictate my voice to the screen. We can now watch that video as it adds text to it. I am now talking. And hopefully, the iPad will be able to dictate my voice to the screen. Let me try this again now. Front facing. You know, the iPad front facing camera is a little close. See if that worked. You know, the iPad front facing camera is a little close. Which is really handy on Facebook or Instagram when you don't want to activate the stupid audio on it. If when you have headphones on or you're just casually browsing, you don't want to hear anything, but you'd like to know what they're saying. You can add these customizable little text boxes. And of course, dictation is not always right. So when you want to and you see a mistake, on the screen you just double tap the text and this little menu lets you customize the text that is read so if they get something wrong you can correct it this feature I think is my favorite the fact that it can quickly and kind of intuitively add the text that I am saying on the screen so that when you're on social media you can quickly add captions of stuff you're looking at you know like this Wow the iPad Pro looks enormous in this video see apparently to stupid Siri enormous is not a word so I can very quickly go in there and change it hit apply and now when we watch it Wow the iPad Pro looks enormous enormous in this video. It's just fine. But I can tell you the dictation has been pretty well for me. It probably works better on iOS devices with better microphones. The iPad Pro has okay mics, but your iPhones are even better. And keep in mind, this is just one category of text. Let's go to another one. Filters. We've got ink, comic book, transfer, and fade, instant, and noir. So you can make all kinds of different filters on top of what you're recording. And keep in mind, this does not replace the text feature. You can have both at once. So now I'm filming a noir, but it will still put that text on the bottom of the screen as it hears me. Like so, and now a classic black and white film. And now your video looks like this. And now a classic black and white film. Pretty cool, right? But of course we're not done. Let's go to the next category. You can add these tiny little stickers on top of whatever video you're doing. For instance, hi there. This should probably be front facing. So now I've got a little speech bubble next to my face. I can of course change the text in that iMessage bubble and hit apply like so. Now you can make those stupid little videos that you like to post on Instagram or whatever that look like this. It is going to be so expensive. And I really love that the text shows up on the screen the moment you say it. They've really got that synced down and it feels like a very modern, up-to-date social media tool for Instagram or Twitter, whatever you want to post it. Now the last category is text. If you couldn't tell, all the video that I've been recording is being collected here at the bottom of the screen and I can delete clips I don't want at the bottom, little screw ups. That way when I'm done with this entire video, it can all play together. You can kind of have like a bunch of different vines that edit together to show what all went on during your day or your trip, your trip to the mall, your showing all your different stuff. You can hit play and it'll show everything. That is compiled into a date up at the top, which you, of course, can share by texting people. You can save that video. You can post it to Facebook, even Vimeo, but you really shouldn't do that. Vimeo will not be happy with you. YouTube, which is, it's just dumb. And even Facebook Messenger. So it's nice that that's built in. But anyway, the text stuff. We have all these different themes here that you can, of course, customize. So we're coming up on the end here. I'm gonna hit the end, but I don't really need that text on the screen. Well, you know what? Maybe I do. It's going to show the end and play that little video and to get little text on the bottom I'm just gonna hold to record like so thanks for watching that's the nice little cherry on top thanks for watching
and it looks like that by the end. Literally the end. Kind of cool, right? There is one little feature I don't really think most people are going to use, but you got a little music icon up here where you can add your own music, and they have their own dedicated soundtrack section where lots of different people have very short little snippets of audio that go well with these kind of Vine-like clips. And of course, they're all free and right built into the Apple Clips app. So that basically wraps it up for what Apple Clips is capable of. I'm sure there's plenty I didn't cover in here, but I covered what I am most excited for and will likely be using. I really wish it didn't have to be a square so that I could use that dictate text option in my vlogs or something, but I understand it's built for Instagram and Twitter and Facebook, you know, basic stuff. But it's just kind of one of those neat free little nuggets that Apple provides to their fan base and also to say, screw you Android, look what you can't have. Who do we know? Samsung's probably already working on their version of it right now. Let me know what you think of Apple Clips in the comments below. This is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one.